The International Year of Light. Celebrating scientists who changed the world and our understanding of light. In the 11th century, Arab scientist Ibn al-Haytham was told to work out how to regulate the erratic flooding of the River Nile. He soon realised it was utterly impossible and, fearing execution, he pretended to be insane. He was placed under house arrest. Bad news for Ibn al-Haytham, good news for civilization. He suddenly had a lot of free time to continue his studies. Eventually, he wrote the Book of Optics, which showed how vision takes place when light enters the eye. Ibn al-Haytham had furthered our understanding of light's nature, and 800 years later, Augustin Jean Fresnel, while discovering the wave nature of light, would create something truly illuminating with his aptly named Fresnel lens. The Fresnel lens can project light for miles around and soon became the big thing in keeping ships off rocks. And Fresnel's groundbreaking studies into wave theory have seen him become just as popular with scientists as sea captains. A slow learner who couldn't read at aged eight, he is now considered the father of the wave theory of light. Although Fresnel had laid the foundations, the nature of light remained a mystery until James Clerk Maxwell discovered the deep connection between electricity and magnetism. In discovering electromagnetic force, he proved that light is in fact an electromagnetic wave. Maxwell was the first scientist to unify any of nature's fundamental forces and a great influence on our next hero, Albert Einstein, whose theory of general relativity gave us one ring to rule them all. With general relativity, Einstein theorised the phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. It explains why distant galaxies sometimes appear shaped like a ring wrapped around a closer galaxy. During gravitational lensing, a heavy object bends the space around it, making a lens. This can magnify the light of a distant galaxy, presenting it as a ring around the closer one. Einstein had taken our understanding of light far into outer space, and soon Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson would detect the earliest hum of the cosmos using a microwave. Oh, using microwaves. Yes, by detecting the very same light that warms many a bachelor's lonely heart, Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson discovered the echo of the Big Bang. At first, they thought the strange radio signal was caused by pigeon poo in their antenna. But with the poo removed, the signal remained. They won a Nobel Prize for their work, an accolade they share with our last hero of light, Charles Cow. Back in the 60s, most engineers thought glass was an inefficient medium for carrying telecommunications. But Charles Cow and George Alfred Hockham believed it could be better than copper. He found that by purifying glass and bundling it into fibres, it could carry huge amounts of information over long distances using light. And thanks to Cal, we can now communicate from one side of the world to the other in an instant. All these scientists have made history in the field of light. And in 2015, we're celebrating the anniversaries of their discoveries as part of the International Year of Light. more from the Open University. Check out the links on screen now.